So here, before we can even solve for the time, we need to solve for the uh, acceleration. So for part A, we can say that the mass is equaling 630 kilograms. Uh, theta equals 10.2 degrees. Uh, we know that the force of friction equals 62.0 newtons. And we know that uh, at this point, we can say that uh, the sum of forces in the x direction on the incline uh, would be equal to the mass times the acceleration, uh, which in this case would be equal to mg sine of theta minus the force of friction. Uh, at this point, we're simply solving for uh, the acceleration. So the acceleration would be mg sine of theta minus the force of friction divided by, again, the mass. So we're simply going to uh, plug in. So 630 kilograms multiplied by 9.80 meters per second squared times sine of 10.2, well, that's uh, minus 62.0 newtons. This would all be divided by uh, mass, 630 kilograms. And we find that the acceleration is actually positive, uh, 1.64 meters per second squared. So uh, continuing on for part A, we can essentially say that delta x equals v x initial t plus one half a t squared. Let's solve. So delta x we know is 80.0 meters. Uh, this would equal 6.20 6 uh, meters per second, our initial velocity multiplied by t plus one half times uh, 1.64 meters per second squared multiplied by t squared. Uh, we can actually solve. Um, in this case, we're going to say that half of 1.64 would be uh, 0.82. So 0.82 t squared plus 6.20 t minus 80.0 should equal zero. And as you can see, this is a quadratic equation. So you can use your solve function in your TI-84, 85, or 89 in order to solve this quadratic equation. And uh, T is going to be equal to 6.80 seconds. Now, you're going to receive two answers, of course, because this is a quadratic equation. Uh, however, the other answer is negative. So time can never be negative. So of course, here, we're just going to choose the answer to be the correct solution. So again, for part A, T is equaling 6.80 seconds. And again, you can simply use your solve function in your TI-84, 85, or 89 in order to obtain this result. Now, for part B, uh, we're going to um, essentially use the exact same, um, we're going to do the exact same calculations. However, here, the force of friction equals 42.0 newtons. Now, um, essentially, uh, we can then solve for T once again. And uh, we can say that 80.0 meters will equal 6.20 uh, meters per second times T plus 1 half. And then you can substitute in for uh, acceleration. We already found it. Uh, mg sine of theta minus force of friction over the mass. So here it'll be, again, 630 kilograms multiplied by 9.80 meters per second squared times sine of uh, the angle 10.2 degrees uh, minus 42.0 newtons. This would all be divided by, again, 630 kilograms. And then this entire thing would, of course, be multiplied by t squared. So here, we're, not, we're actually going to be substituting all of this into your calculator. Um, you don't really need to uh, do any um, sec uh, primary calculations. You can simply uh, plug in your acceleration term. Um, you can plug in your acceleration term uh, directly into the uh, kinematic equation, and then solving for t here 
we have that t is going to be equal to 6.76 seconds. So this would be your answer for part b. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.